your GNS. So what I will do, I will take one switch. I will take one uh, router. Just to show you this concept. I will connect this device with the cable. And this device name I will give as a SW1, the label. And I will give here the R1. And now we can assign the IP address here. I can write 192.168.1.1. Okay, or let me write here 1.2 and then here we will write 192.168.1.2 1.1 In the router I am going to assign this IP here, in the switch I am going to assign this IP here And then we will see what we can do here LLDP by default it is not enabled So if you take the console of the switch If I move this like this if I go here, I will go here like uh, first, if you want, you can write show CDP. This is by default enable. But if you write show LLDP, it will not show you because it is not enabled by default. See here, when I write here show LLDP, you are getting LLDP is not enabled here. So by default, it is not enabled. Now we can enable. It will work in Cisco and also non Cisco device. So first let me do the basic configuration here. I will go in the global configuration mode and I will change the name of the switch as a switch one. And I want to assign the IP address. So what I can do in the layer to switch, we cannot assign the IP address to the interface. So we need to assign the IP address under the interface, which interface VLAN interface. So what I will write, because in the layer 2 switch, if you want here, let me show you, do show IP interface brief, you can see fast Ethernet 0 by 0 you have here. If you want to assign the IP address here, you will write interface F0 by 1, okay, and then you can write here IP address, whatever IP you want to assign, 192, 1.2. Give a space 255.255.255.0 Press enter and you can see here we are getting this error. Why? Because in the layer to switch we cannot assign the IP address under the interface. So what we need to do because without assigning the IP address we cannot do anything like if you want to do the SSH or Telnet in future without IP we cannot do. So we will assign the IP under VLAN in the layer to switch. So imagine I will use the VLAN one only. This is a default VLAN. I will write interface. Then I will write here VLAN one. With this command I go under the interface VLAN one. I will write IP address. And whatever IP we plan here if you see 192.168.1.2. So I will write here 192.168.1.2. Give a space write 255.255.255.0 and I will write no shirt. So I assign the IP address here. I can save the configuration. This is a basic configuration I done here. Now I will enable the LLDP. You can run both also if you want to run the CDP LLDP both you can run. Now I am enabling. If you want to enable you will write LLDP run. Okay. When you write this one LLDP will be enabled. After that you can write here show LLDP press enter now LLDP is active here so LLDP is enabled here if you write here like uh, show LLDP entry here I think let me check what commands work here ok show LLDP neighbor you have here neighbor detail this command is working here if you press here you don't have any neighbor zero neighbor because here we have the LLDP here I did not configure anything and also the link is done so you cannot get any information so what I will do first I will go to this router I will configure this interface here so I will write here no and then enable I will do the basic configuration like change the name of the router here and then interface F0 by 0 I will write here IP address 192.168.1.1 give space 255.255.255.0 and I will write no shirt so what I done I make the interface I assign the IP address here 
I assign the IP address here. So what else I need to do here? I can enable the LLDP. If you want to enable the LLDP, you will write LLDP run. So now LLDP is enabled both the side. You will save the configuration. You can write show LLDP and check LLDP is enabled here. Now if you write show LLDP and you can write like entry. This is a command actually. This command is not supporting in packet tracers. So we will use the EVE, NG or GNS3 to do this command. You can get the information with this command or another command, similar information. So I can show you, show LLDP neighbor detail. If you write, you will get that information. If I press enter, you can see one device is connected here. Okay. If you see one device, you can say here what device is connected here. Here you can see the device name is SW1, whose operating system is this one. Version is this 15.0. And if you see here, you will get the IP information. So here you cannot see IP. So we have some more commands. We can put that command and we can get the IP information because here this command shows LLDP entry is not showing here. That's why you cannot get. So for that command, we can do in the GNS or EVENG. So show if if I write here show LLDP neighbor detail. Let me check here. I get the neighbor detail here also. From here to here, I am connected to R1. And the software, whatever is running here, it is showing me this one. Whatever the version you have, the information. And this is the router capabilities R here. So this way we will get the information, but now I need to get more information. I can write the show LLDP entry star show LLDP or I can write show LLDP neighbor detail. So I wrote this command show LLDP neighbor detail. So we get this neighbor information. We have another command that is show LLDP entry star. This command is not supporting in packet tracer. So we will do this lab in the GNS or EVENG. Okay. And what else other commands you have show CDP, LL, show LLDP. And this one is saying enable or disable. And one more command we can say show LLDP interface. And this command also not supporting here. If you press question mark, you will see only one command is supporting here. So let me do this lab in the GNS or EVENG.